Hey rabbits, it's Trixie and on my channel I've done several videos about the German language, mostly about it being freaky, crazy, funny or just weird. But lately I noticed that I kind of changed my view on the German language. I find it more beautiful now and amazing and poetic. So again today I want to show you a pretty side of German, naming the seven cutest words that I know. If you are a sporty person and you love to go by bike, why not give your bicycle a cute nickname? In Germany you can find some people referring to their bikes as Draht Esel wire donkeys. And I just love this so much because donkeys are super cute and it kind of gives you a bike a personality. Your bike takes you everywhere, it's always with you and it's such a trustworthy companion. So why not give him the title of a real horse or donkey? However, bikes can also be part of a cute nickname themselves. Some people like to call their glasses Nasenfahrrad no bicycle. And I just feel that this is such a creative and sweet name for glasses. It shows us once again that German has some beautiful and adorable words. Next up, das Honigkuchenpferd, the honey cake horse. You can say this to people who are in a really great mood, grinning happily. I'm pretty sure that you all know these amazing days where you wake up just being in a great mood, feeling like jumping and dancing around all the time. For example, when you received really good news or when you're in love. And even if you try to contain yourself, you're always like... And this, ladies and gentlemen, is a Honigkuchenpferd. I mean, it doesn't make much sense, but at the same time, there is no better way of describing what it means. Sweet honey, cake, a horse, these are all symbols of pure happiness, and all of them together, a masterpiece. Another German word that I've always found super cute is das Glühwürmchen, the firefly. I admit that firefly is also kinda adorable, but I personally like the little glowworm even a bit more. Firefly just sounds like flies on fire, they're burning to death, while little glowworm is just what it is. Little worm-like insects flying around all shiny and cute Glühwürmchen. The next word describes something that we all don't actually like to see. It's a big ball of dust and hair on the floor. You know this alien stuff that you encounter when you move your couch the first time after half a year? Not the most beautiful thing to find. However, German has found a way to make you find this ball of dust cute, because you can refer to it as die Wollmaus, the wool mouse. Isn't this the cutest name ever for a disgusting thing? It's like, ew, so much dust. Wollmaus. Ah, uh -huh, that's so cute. Let's keep it as a pet. The next German word always makes me giggle, and you'll understand in a second why that is. Believe it or not, the German term for chickpea is die Kichererbse, the giggle or the chuckle pea. Again, chickpea, die Kükenerbse, is also kind of cute, but shh, Kichererbse is even better, I would say. Last but not least, I would like to talk about these quotation marks and the German term for them. You could also say Anführungszeichen, but that would be boring, right? Much better, you can also call them die Gänsefüßchen, little goose feet. Again, this is just so creative and adorable. I mean, you could also call the quotation marks double comma or something boring. This shows that German is not as dry and harsh and lifeless as some people tend to claim. It's colorful, it's fantastic, adventurous, and there are so many creative ideas in it. It's a language that creates pictures and stories in our heads, that makes us think twice and smile. These were the seven cutest German words that I could come up with. Do you know more cute German words that you would like to share? What other non-German words do you know that you find really cute? Please share them with me and the world in the comments down below and let me know what you think. I really hope that you liked today's video. If so, please leave a thumbs up because that would make me really, really happy. If you want to watch another video of Don't Trust the Rabbit, you can find one right here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook or even support the channel on Patreon, which would be a great help for me. Now I wish you all a very beautiful and cute day. Check out my other videos if you'd like to and hopefully we are going to see each other in my next video. Bye!